All right, I'm going to demonstrate my new plugin, the Generative Fill Tweaker. So you have a situation where I'm trying to give her a funky haircut. And no matter what I type, I want her hair to do these round, mousier kind of style. I get this kind of weird shapes, but that's not what I wanted at all. So I can go in here and kind of just paint in. This is more what I was looking for. I want her hair to kind of be in this kind of shape. And then I can open up my Generative Fill Tweaker plugin and make my selection but then i can just type hair and then on this selection slider all the way to this side would be the same as just doing what i just did where generative fill just looks at what's outside the selection and tries to create what it thinks is going to be inside the selection based upon the text that you wrote where this slider makes it to where it also looks at what's currently in this selection. So under here, so I kind of just have this temporary layer. And if I put this at say around 50% and just type hair and click generate, we should get something that's much more influenced by this temporary layer that I added in. So hopefully, oh, so now we have hair and we have the three different choices and I can just click generate again and it'll make me three more but you see that it obviously was way more influenced by that temporary image that I gave than just the text I didn't put anything about like mouse ear style or anything in the text you can see now I have options that are much closer to what I was looking for just by adding in this temporary layer and it's way better than these options that I was getting and the more if I went all the way over here this would basically give me nothing because it would just be giving me that temporary layer so that's it that's the plugin all it pretty much does is just give you the generative fill with a strength slider here and that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoy it